Hi, and welcome to the 10 forumscom In this video, we will install and set up Windows Server 2016. Install Windows normally, selecting the Server with Desktop Experience option. When installation is done, Windows stops to ask you for the administrator password. Give the password and confirm it. Press Ctrl Alt Delete to unlock Windows and sign in with your administrator account. By default, the server manager will be automatically started. Be patient. Starting the server manager can take quite some time. While waiting, I will change the display resolution. Server Manager has started. Select Local Server on the left pane. Click Time Zone to change it if needed. By default, the server has a dynamic private IP address. I check my router settings to see the IP pool, the range which it uses when assigning IP addresses to my devices, and assign the server an IP address outside this pool. For the default gateway and primary DNS server, I give the IP address of my router. To be sure everything works as intended, I select Validate Settings upon Exit and click OK, then Close. Windows Troubleshoot runs now and checks that network settings are OK. No errors found. Last but not least, I changed the server, the computer name, to something easier to remember. Windows needs now to be restarted.
by default, the server manager will be run automatically every time the server is starting. You can change this from the server manager properties in Manage menu and launch the server manager manually from the start menu if you so prefer. That's it! Windows Server 2016 is installed and set up. In the next video, we will set up a local domain. Thanks for watching.